Welcome. In this series of online demonstrations, we shall cover the scaling of energy generated by more than one TGS server. As you may recall from our previous series covering a single TGS server, we demonstrated how one IT device can provide useful energy from the byproduct heat present during its operation. Our stack of one new prototypes is again just one small example of the platform type used in our system. Mainframes, blade systems, high performance computing systems, multi U rack router and switches, large scale router and switch platforms, and UPS systems are all perfect candidates for thermoelectric integration. As you can see, we have 12 of our 1U units stacked together. The top two units are a little different from the others for they were our earliest prototypes. Remember how each server at idle generated 1 to 2 volts of potential and depending on its utilization level generated upwards of 5 volts? Now we have 12 such units and running them all in the 50 to 60 percent utilization range we can generate almost 50 volts and a few amps depending on the load. We loaded our servers with some processing work and now all are generating potential in the 4 plus volt range. For perspective, consider the amount of energy generated 24 by 7, 365 days a year from this 1.5 by 2 foot space of computing power. This could be a group of web servers or one blade system in the same footprint in the data center generating energy while conducting its work. Okay, now let's take a look at the rear of our servers. As you can see, all of our DC leads are present and ready to be connected. We can connect our group of servers in several ways. We can connect them all in series by connecting the black lead from one TGS server to the red lead of the TGS server below it and so forth we would end up with one large voltage source of close to 50 volts. We can connect three TGS servers in series to create a 12 volt source and then have four such 12 volt DC sources connect in parallel to increase current levels. Or we can connect sets of six TGS servers, each in series, to create two 24 volt DC sources and use them independently, or connect them in parallel for increased current levels. These leads are just for the prototypes. Production models will have the appropriate secure type connector into a rack based power distribution system. There are many connection options and possibilities available for our systems. In this part of our scaling demonstrations, we connected all of our TGS servers in series and our meters leads to the positive and negative red and black leads at each end so we can observe our total volt scaled at a little over 48 volts. In this demonstration, we will go back to using only three TGS servers connected in series creating a 12 volt DC source. Our three servers according to the front panels are producing the volts we need. Remember that 12 volt fan we use to demonstrate mechanical work with just one TGS server? We will use it again here to demonstrate scaling. Notice the voltage drop across the fan's load and how it rises again when the load is removed. Notice here that the fan spins much faster with three TGS servers producing 12 volts 
than with one TGS server producing 4 volts. In this piece of our demonstration, we will use our three 12 volt DC source TGS servers to charge a 12 volt UPS battery. For our demonstration, we utilized a SunShield solar charge controller rated for 12 volts. We chose this type of charge controller to show how thermoelectrics is no different of an alternate energy source than that of solar photovoltaics. We could also attach our three TGS server 12 volt DC source leads directly to the battery to charge it as well. Okay, we connect our leads to the charge controller and notice how we go from 10.4 volts at the battery without TGS power to almost 12 volts. We connected our meter at the battery to see the resultant charging voltage and pacing levels. If we want to charge the battery faster, we can use the rest of our TGS servers in 12 volt series parallel DC source combinations to increase the current level. Now we shall disconnect one of our leads and notice how the battery charge level drops to its charged point. Notice how the charge level increased from 10.48 volts to 10.70. Now we shall reconnect our TGS based power source to the charger. And notice how we jumped back to almost 12 volts. In our next segment of scaling TGS produced energy we will charge the same battery using six TGS servers and we will also demonstrate powering a small Ethernet switch solely with TGS produced power.